Okay, hi. Hello students, hello families. Mrs. McNally here coming to you through a digital screen. Um, welcome to DPS Digital Learning. I am here to answer questions as best as I can. I felt like this was the most efficient way to get information to you. Um, so it'll be the last time I'm sending you like a YouTube video that you'll need to watch. I just didn't want to spam the Remind account with 1,000 text messages because I know that that's not easy to read or follow and keep up with either. So here we are. Um, also, I just want to say that um, I hope that you guys are doing okay. I hope that you're doing good and great actually, but hope that you're doing okay and that you're hanging in there. Um, such a weird time. I know I myself have good days and bad days and I just wanted to let Students, you guys know that I'm thinking about you and I'm missing you a lot and I'm missing our classroom and I'm missing our beautiful school and all the memories that we have. I've just, I've been thinking about them a lot lately and maybe you are too, but um, I hope that you're doing well. So families, um, I have some information. We just recently had a staff meeting with Principal, um, Principal Jones where she filled us in because there had been a lot of blanks for year-round school being that we technically were on um, an intercession for the last three weeks. So here we are getting ready to start digital learning and um, they have said, I have some notes, so I'm going to be pe um, peeking at those really quickly, but they've said that um, learning packets, so many families have asked about learning packets, those are going to be going home to you, they're going to be mailed um, to your to your houses hopefully by Wednesday. If by Thursday this week or this upcoming week you have not received your um, paper pencil learning packet from Durham Public Schools, please contact me. Please um, shoot me a, a text message. That way I can quickly respond um, to an email for Ms. Jones and she can use you know your address in power schools to um, either deliver to a doorstep or to quickly mail so that you guys can have access to that packet. Um, it's my understanding that the packet is a lot of review, a lot of um, standards that students and I have already covered in the classroom. There's also a few topics that I think are going to be new that are popping up. So um, questions and, and and just all of the all of the concerns or questions, you can message me at any time. There's going to be um, some set office hours, and I'll let you guys know that information in a little bit. Um, Durham Public Schools has asked that for two hours of the day, you can contact me with any of these academic questions and we can either, um, we can do text messaging, you can, you're welcome to call me, we can FaceTime, whatever's going to work best for you. Um, I'm here to help and support you guys through this. Um, for me, technology, your students can probably tell you, is a, a little bit of a, a struggle. Um, I am not the most technology advanced person, but here we are all trying and learning new things together. So um, I know I know we're going to get the hang of this and we're going to be successful. Um, of course, I would rather see students face to face. I, I just miss that so much, but this is the next best thing. So um, learning packets will be delivered to you and they can begin working on those at any time because from what I understand, it is a review. Um, so they can read the passages, they can answer the, the questions, and then if you have questions or other things come um, pop up as they're working, you can contact me at, at those office hour times. As for digital learning, so um, there hasn't been a lot of clear guidance, so I've kind of taken this weekend to do a lot of research, and I think moving forward what I'm going to be using is Google Classroom. So um, students all have a, a Gmail account through Durham Public Schools that they are quickly and very easily able to access. Um, I feel confident in my class. You guys are so good at logging onto the computers. Probably, you're probably better at computer things than I am. So um, I have no worries that if you do have a, de a device or some way to access the internet, um, I think this is gonna be a really good option for those, for those of us that can. Um, Google Classroom, you're going to either A, download a free application. It's Google Classroom. Um, you can download that and leave it on your device as an app, or you can Google Google Classroom, and it's going to be the first link. You're going to click it, um, and I've played with this a little bit, so what's going to happen is once you get onto that Google Classroom page, 
and you are logged into your DPS account. So it'll probably make you sign in with the, the white and the red um, buttons. You'll sign in that way that pop up. Um, and then what's going to happen is it's going to say, create or join your first Google class. Um, you're going to click that button. It's a blue plus sign and you're going to click join class. Um, from there, I have a Google classroom joining code. It's a combination of seven lowercase letters and I will text that into the Remind app so that if you want to go ahead and get started and log on um, and just kind of say hello, I will, um, I'll be able to see you through there. I don't know what happens after you click the join the plus sign and you put in my code. It wouldn't let me do that far and like be a student in my own Google Classroom. But um, students, I'm asking that if you will please or if you can please enter in your first and your last name, since as you know, we have multiple people in our in our classroom with the same first name. Um, that will be really helpful to be able to see like who is who and just help me keep track of your comments and questions better. Um, if I can have your first and your last name. Um, Okay, um, Google Classroom, it's kind of, um, if you use the application Facebook, it's very similar in that there's a feed, like a news feed, and they'll be able to see everything that I post on there. So I'm able to post videos and articles and slideshows, um, pictures, questions, all kinds of things, and then they're able to comment or respond um, and answer those questions, I can post like quizzes and tests on there. It's a pretty cool application. So if you are able to access that, I cannot wait to get started on it. Um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> um, also, there is part of the, the whole Google application in general is a part that's called Google Meets. So, um, at some point throughout the day, I'm going to log on and I'll have set hours and I'll be teaching digitally. So it's also a good time if students are available, they can join the meet, like join the hangout and we can interact that way face to face or I'll post it to the Google um, Classroom wall and they'll be able to watch a replay at any time of the day as many times as they need to. So I'll probably post a lot of instruction videos, especially when it comes to math, because I feel like that is... Um, if, if families have any questions, it's generally math related because we learn so differently um, growing up. We all learn in these different ways and strategies. And so if you want to continue using Durham Public School strategies at home, I'm happy to help and I'll, I'm happy to post as many instructional learning videos as we need to. Um, I, I thank you guys so much in, in like your efforts and your collaboration to keep this learning going and just to have students keep practicing. So, um, you know, there is... There won't be um, any state testing there. The pressure is taken off of us for that. Like there's no EOG. We won't have any um, eye station testing. You know, at this point, it's just like keep reading, keep writing, keep answering comprehension questions and give math your best go. That's all the expectation is um, so that when when fourth grade starts, you know, you're prepared and they're ready to be learners and kind of pick up where they left off in the classroom. I think from what I understand, that's kind of Durham Public School's goal here. Um, it's just to keep going, keep practicing. So we're all in this together. Um, whatever questions you have, please contact me directly anytime. Um, I'm here for you guys to answer those. I'm gonna post the schedule on the Google Classroom wall. I'm gonna post, um, I'll probably send my phone number out in case that's an easier way for parents to contact me or if you had an iPhone and you wanted to FaceTime or something like that, I'd be, I'm down for whatever is best for you guys. So um, that being said, I miss you guys a lot and I hope you, the, I wish the best for you um, in all of this and I can't wait until we're kind of reunited um, in person. I feel like we should have a party or something, do something fun, right? Um, Okay, well, that's all for now, but you'll be seeing me again soon, and I hope that you guys have a great week.